to start it. Okay. Very good morning, everyone. I hope the Sunday morning has been kind to you. Here in Bangalore, we have the monsoon coming in with clouds coming in and going. It's it's a really beautiful morning. So the way we have done it in the past, uh, some of us in Think Tank we are fond of uh, talking to children, working with children, and we tried this last time when Pranit and Suhail uh, did a nice session for us. We also have another youngster here with us. Uh, we have a ten-year-old Samat. Not ten. Oh, sorry. So nine. how old are you? Nine. Okay. So he's still nine. Uh, thanks for clarifying, Samat. Um, so j j just to start the session, I have some very few simple questions for you. Can we? Okay. The very first simplest question. So what's your name, Samat? Samat. Oh, okay. Um, when was the last time you sat in a train? Two months ago. Two months ago. So you also have to tell us uh, what was the event, where were you going and give us a quick background. Goa. You were going to Goa, okay. Um, when was the last time you sat in a bus? I don't remember. You don't remember. When was the last time um, you sat in a boat? Last year. Last year? Are you sure? Mm. What about the place where we went two months ago? And a boat is something which goes on water. Mm. You remember anything where we go or you didn't uh, use the boat? Okay, fine. So when we sit in a boat or you sit in a bus or a train, as it moves, as we were talking today as well, when we came in the car, when you were sitting at the front, as the car moved, what happened? I was going front and back. You were going front and back. In the same way, when you, what's very visible is when you are coming out of a, okay, when, when you are coming out of the boat, uh, a person jumps out of the boat, and something happens. The boat shakes. Boat shakes, okay. Uh, I'm not sure if you are audible, so maybe you'll have to be louder. Okay. So as, as a person jumps out of the boat, the boat shakes. I'm giving you three options. Hmm? And you have to choose one. So the boat has reached to the bank and the person, one person, the boat is empty. This is the last person. The person jumps out of the boat what will happen? Option A is the boat will move towards the bank. Option B, boat will move away from the bank. Option C, boat will stay where it is. Stay where it is. Stay where it is. So, Samarth has chosen option C. If you are logged in, please respond to this question. And today's session, we are going to do some quick experiments which will help us also understand this phenomenon, what's happening behind and we'll find out what's the correct answer okay so Samarth I have two very simple straws with me oh. do they look different yes one is blue one is yellow one is blue one is yellow okay in and terms one, of the yeah this one is stretched this one is not this one is stretched like this part Oh, okay. So this looks straight and this is slightly Yeah. Bent. Do you see something here? A springy thing? Yes. Okay. And luckily this is bendable. Mm -hmm. And this is also bendable. Do you see a difference in the size here? Mm. Okay. But what I want to do is, I want to insert one of these straws into the other straw. What should I do? You can bend this and put it inside. Say it again. You could do like that, bend like that and put it You are saying I can squeeze it in? Yeah. So I kind of do this? Yeah. Yeah. Any other way? I don't know. You don't know. Okay. So while squeezing is a great idea, uh, what may happen is the straw may get damaged. So what I'll do is instead I'll make a one nice long slit. So I've just made one slit here and that allows me to 
overlap some part of the straw on itself and hence reduce the diameter of this one straw and now that the diameter of this straw is less I can insert this in hmm? okay so now with the two bendable straws I have a u-shaped assembly of two straws mm -hmm. my question is if I put the yellow straw in my mouth and blow into this what will happen air will come out from here are you sure water won't start coming out no no you don't have any water i don't have any water that's what samarth is saying okay so i blow into this air will come out will anything else happen will a sound get produced will a movement happen which direction will the movement happen sound sound will come okay so you may notice that every now and then we are posing a question and waiting. Sometimes children say, Uncle, why are you asking so many questions? Just do it. But that's a basic principle that if you are doing an experiment, it's important that you predict first. Otherwise, the experiment goes in front of your eyes like a fast moving train. You are not prepared to see the result and either way the result is fine with you. So it's important to predict before you experiment. Okay, so you have two predictions. One is that air will come out and it will also produce some sound. Yeah. Shall we do it? Yeah. You want to do it? No. Okay. <laughs> like an elephant, huh? Elephant's trunk, it's getting lifted like that. Okay. Now what I'll do is, I'll bend it like this. So earlier, where was this pointing? There. Like that. Yeah. When I when it got lifted like elephant's trunk, which direction was this pointing in? It was in line with this. It was in line with this. And hence when I kept it here, where was it pointing? Where was the blue straw pointing? Okay. Why don't you observe again? Where is the blue straw pointing? Yeah. Towards my chest. Huh? Yeah. Towards me. Now? So now what will happen? Will there be a change? We saw that it got lifted like an elephant's trunk. You will there be a change? That side. That side? Okay, let's see. Mm. <laughs> so tell me, what should I do to make it lift that side? Put it this side. Like that? Like that? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. What you said is right. So it works that way. Okay, what we will do is, I have a simple pen cap here. I'm sorry about this, but I'm breaking the pen cap. And what I'll also do is, it has the cap which I'll remove, so now it has become nice tubular. So things can pass through this. And what I'm going to do is, I'll use this. I see that the diameter of this pen cap is larger than the diameter of the straw. So I'll put this in and I'll do a little bit of cleanup here so that this can move around freely and so that this doesn't come out I'll put a couple of rounds of rubber band here so this will prevent okay so now what I'll do is I'll place my lips on the pen cap no rubber band what is the with your face what if it hits my face? Yeah. If it moves, then that can happen. And what should I do to make it rotate in the other direction? Um, it's moving this direction. What do I do? When it's like that, it moves this direction. Hmm. So when it's like this, it will move this direction. What do you mean? So what? which direction it should It was like it? this when it hmm. was moving like that. Uh -huh. So it so will put it like that when it will move like that. You are saying like this? Yes. So I turn it. So the direction in which air comes out, is it moving in the same direction or opposite direction? Opposite direction. Opposite direction. Mm. So what you said is right. Do you want to play with it? Mm. You'll have to keep your hands free if you want to play with it. Okay. Mm. Put your lips on the, not on the rubber band, on the pen cap. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so we'll keep this aside. We'll try few more things. 
and then come to the principal. There is no hurry to talk about the principles. I often tell parents and teachers that Newton himself was 40 years old when he came up with Newton's laws and we start expecting every 15 year old child to know Newton's laws. Your life is not any less if you don't, if you can't narrate the laws. Okay, so I have a, another piece of straw, a plastic straw, which is slightly fatter straw. So what I'm going to do is, I'll fold this in the middle, like this. So Samarth, I want you to tell me, how many corners do you see here? Four. Four corners. Can you point at the corners? Okay. Oh, they have two more here. Oh, okay. So how many? Total how many corners? Six. Six corners. Four plus two. I am going to care for only these two corners. Okay. What will I do? I am going to cut one triangle out. Like this. When I open, what shape will I see? Like that. Hmm. So when I open, will I see a triangle, a line? Or something a else. line with a cut. A line with a cut. Okay. We will see. Oh. What do you see? It's a diamond. It's a diamond. Okay. Question to you and to the viewers. If you are logged in, please respond to this question. Will you always get a four-sided shape? Or does it depend on the way I am cutting? Also, what about the length of the four sides? Will the length be equal to each other? Will they be parallel to each other? In other words, will I get a random quadrilateral or a parallelogram, a square, a rhombus? And please respond to the question with an explanation. Why will you get, if, if your answer is you'll get a random quadrilateral and it depends on the way you cut, please explain. I'm going to do the same from the other side. So cut one triangle out. So notice I'm making only one cut, but on the straw I'm making four cuts. Yeah. So I'm seeing two diamonds and yes. you can see through it. Yes. Okay. What I'll do is I'll take another piece of plastic straw, make a small cut. Okay. And the this straw, the hole in the fat straw needs to be big enough. It's like the aeroplane thing, the, the top of the tower, that thing with spins. That's right. Do you know what that is called? No. It has a specific name. We humans like giving names to everything. And especially in the aeroplane, the one which is on the wings, the fan kind of thing which rotates, yeah. that's called a propeller. Why is it called a propeller? The tower, on top of the tower, this thing. Which oh, you are talking about the radar kind of thing. The yes. one which keeps going like yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> what I'll now do is, when I'm seeing through these two holes, I'm going to flatten it front and back, like this. Mm. Okay. And I'll take a piece of tape. So I'm taking a colored insulation tape. It's not necessary for you to use a colored tape. If you have a normal cello tape at your home, that should be good enough. So I will take a small piece which is hardly 2 or 2 and half centimeter in length and flatten it. So this is an important instruction. When I am seeing through it, I am flattening it front and back, not top and bottom. So I will flatten it front and back and I will place the piece of tape on it and cover it so that no air can escape from here. And I'll do the same thing from the other side. Okay. I have some mm. ready-made tape pieces cut here, which helps me speed up. Okay. So when I look at it from the front, it looks like a rectangle. What I'll now do is, so Samad, how many corners do you see now? Uh, four. Four corners. This time I'm again interested only in two corners. <laughs> So you select one of these four corners for me? Mm, these two. I can't do that. I asked you to select one, not two. Okay. This. The bottom one? Yes. This? Okay. So I'll make a small cut here. You see a hole here now? Yes. And it's a triangle shaped hole through which air can escape in one particular direction. Now that I've made one cut here, which is on my top right, 
I'm going to make another cut which is on my bottom left. So this one, which again there is a name to this. The name is diagonally opposite corners. So if I look at it as a rectangle and I draw a di diagonal, one hole here and the diagonally opposite hole. And I'm ready to play with this just one step away. So I'll put this aside and take the other piece of straw, which is thinner straw. And this time I'll fold the straw from the front. Again, I have some corners. <laughs> You'll say, how many? Why do you deal with so many corners? How many corners? This is two. Two corners. Can you pick one of them for me? This one. Left side? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'll turn it like this. I'm a righty man. Why are you selecting the left side ones? Okay, so I've made a single hole. This time I have cut only one of the two corners. So there's one small hole here. What I'll do now is the end where I've made a hole in the thinner straw, I'll insert it through these two diamond holes and block this straw using my fingers so that no air can escape and blow from here. Spinning is fun. What happened? It came out. Is this supposed to be here? Yeah, it's supposed to be there. So as Samarth is saying, the hole in the blowing straw should be at the diamond. That's nice. Okay, so hold it, hold it. It needs to be in your hand because I want to I want to throw a challenge at you. I want you to notice which direction it is rotating in. This way? Yeah, like that. Yeah. As I said, we humans like giving names to things. And this particular direction of rotation also has a name. What we say is clocks, the thing that we use to keep track of time, they always rotate in one particular direction. And hence, we also use the clocks to specify the direction of rotation. In this case, is it rotating in the same direction as the clock hands when you are looking at it? Does the clock hand move like this or does it move in this direction? It moves like this. And is it rotating in the same direction as the clock hand? Yeah. Yeah. And hence it has a name called clockwise direction. I want you to change the direction such that it starts rotating anti-clockwise. So anti-clockwise is another name. How are you supposed to do that? How are you supposed to do that? And this is something which you may also try out. If you have made one, please play around with it. Figure out how to change the direction. And of course the constraint is, you can't cut it. Don't damage what you have made. Without making any damage, you should be able to make the direction change. When we played with this summer, was it rotating in the same direction as the direction in which air like, comes out? Like, but that one was bended. Like that, 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 that. You answer my question. Does it rotate in the same direction as the air comes out? No. Does it move? Opposite direction? Yes. Where will the air come out in this case? From here. Then it will, no, from here. From here. From here. So if air comes out from here, which direction will the straw move in? This direction. This way. So if you want it to rotate in this direction, which which direction should the air come out from? Here. Okay. So change it, flip it so that air comes out in a different direction. So while Samarth is playing around still with it, the and same way. still the same way. So figure out how do you change it so that the position of hole changes. So while he's playing with it, let me give a quick background of why we are doing this. So every Sunday we have now planned to do this series of events and we plan to do it live. The idea is we of course have a catalog of 250 plus experiments. Uh, we want, we have selected some specific experiments 
which don't require very heavy material and that way we have two advantages one of course it's a great marketing opportunity for us for us to let people know that we have something very interesting uh, second is just in case you don't buy our kits we are still able to reach out to you and the experiments which don't require very heavy material you can play with it but if you are interested in looking at our other experiments and you want to buy our kit please log on to our website or connect with us on facebook so as just in the interest of time when i am holding it like this air comes out from my top right since air comes out in this direction it will push the straw downwards here the air comes out from bottom left and it will push the straw upwards if i flip it like this such that air starts coming out towards my bottom right and it will push the straw in the opposite direction can you try this now so i've changed the position of the hole i've just flipped it like this yeah it's spinning it's spinning the other way it is spinning the other way Yeah. You remember the question I asked in the beginning? What will happen to the boat? The theory says that every single force it comes in pairs. So any force, if it has to apply on a body, it needs to take support of something. So the air coming out from the straw, when air comes out from here, it takes the support of the straw, and in the process, it ends up pushing the straw in the opposite direction. so there can't exist any force in this universe which is without an opposite force what is also called as every action so again as i said we humans like names so action is the name for the force action has equal and opposite reaction now if i apply two forces on an object so i have one force in this direction and i apply equal and opposite force this way then it won't move and hence this is quite often a source of confusion for people when they are introduced to newton's third law of action and reaction let me clarify what happens in case of action and reaction is the two forces are on different object in this case i was applying the two equal and opposite forces on the same object in case of action and reaction action is on a different object and reaction is on another object just to give an example can i use the ball give me the ball so these days we are watching the cricket world cup being played the ball comes and hits the cricket bat if you consider that as an action the reaction is not on the bat the reaction is from the bat on the ball and that will be equal and exactly opposite direction in the direction in which the ball is applying the force on the bat this means when the person jumps out from the boat he is using he is applying force taking the support of the boat and in the process pushing the boat in the opposite direction so if you don't anchor the boat and you are the last person to jump out the out of the boat the boat will be gone that's a very basic thing which anyone who travels often on the water using the water ways will tell you that please anchor the boat if you are the last person so let's let's just look at some more exploration ideas with the same couple of uh, experiments that we did so the fatter straw what if i increase the size so instead of taking a small straw what will happen if i take a big straw would that also rotate and will there be an impact on the speed of rotation samarth are you done with playing with this so the question to you is i have done it with a smaller straw now i am taking double the length of the straw do you think there will be an impact will mm, there will yeah. will there be any change yeah what will change it will spin slower spin slower okay let's see <laughs> what happened it makes a noise it makes a noise takes a lot of energy okay so i'll put this aside now this time i'm saying i'll not make the hole in the center what do you think will happen now so now the hole is not here it's here it won't spin it won't spin 
Why don't you try? It's been only in here. He has something like that. Ah, you managed to make it thin. <laughs> what was the difference? Did you feel anything different? Yes. It's what was the difference? Slower. Spin slower, yeah, that we all saw. <laughs> and it looks like a dartboard. It looks like a dartboard. Okay. okay. Let me pick another one. So this time what I'll do is, instead of making two diagonally opposite holes, I'll cut all the four holes. What will happen then? So we just saw that the air comes out in one direction and pushes the straw in the opposite direction. So if I'm placing it like this, air comes out this way and pushes the straw downwards. Air coming out this way will push the straw upwards. But if I cut all the four holes, then which direction will it rotate? So this time I'll... Yeah, what was your guess, Samar? I don't think it will rotate. You don't think it will rotate. Okay. Let's try this. You want to try? No. Oh, it spins faster. It spins faster. But I've changed two variables. I've also made this smaller. So as you can see... Yeah. But it does spin. And who is deciding the direction? Are these holes deciding the direction or this hole? This is something which I'm not answering right away. I want you to try this out and respond to us on the Facebook. Two questions. One is, if you manage to make it spin, if all four corners are cut, which direction does it rotate? What if nothing is cut? What if nothing is cut? That's a nice question. Okay, let's try it out. Why don't you try it? What's your prediction? It won't spin. It won't spin. Okay, let's try because the air doesn't come out. Air doesn't come out. Yeah. So it seems that you were right. I'll what I'll also do is I'll make some holes in the middle instead of cutting the corners. So instead of cutting the corners, I'll cut here. So I have one hole here and I'll make one more hole here. So I'm folding it here. Making one hole. So much, what do you think will happen now? So instead of corner, I have holes here. Uh, All yours. You have to predict before blowing. I know that much of this pain, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, try it out. Yeah, it does spin. And the same thing is happening. Holes are here. So air comes out in this direction, pushes it in the opposite direction. So it goes this way. So one last experiment with this. While there are plenty of more which can be done with just these two pieces of straws, I'll show one more, which is the last one. What will happen if I make holes here as well as at the corner? And this time, so, so first I've made hole here, I've made hole here, so diagonally opposite. And I'll also make hole, intermediate holes, but in the opposite direction. After this, I want you to at home play around, try uh, putting water into it instead of air and see if that works. Uh, see if you can reduce the length further, try making multiple propellers and in this case we have also made it hands free. So uh, we have put few pieces of foam here, you want to play? Only one. Only one spins. And that to the last one. No, this one. Yeah? This one. Okay. Let's complete this experiment and then we will close today's session. So I have one hole here, one hole here. Let's see if this works. Yes. <laughs> doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Doesn't work. Probably because they both are cancelling each other. I'll do a small trick. I'll make the holes at the corner slightly bigger and see if that helps. It still doesn't work. And 
this time I'll make the diamond hole slightly bigger so that there's no friction between the fatter straw and the thinner straw. Ah, with some difficulty I managed to make this also spin. So with this we come to the end of today's session. Um, lot of fun so those of you who have logged in it was nice having you here we'll continue this series of uh, live events on every sunday at 11 am please keep uh, your time slot reserved next time it will be someone else but we'll keep bringing new experiments for you uh, thanks for logging in it was fun being here goodbye